Hello my friends, welcome back! Today I have a really special episode for you. Evolution of Shuriken. We're gonna start from the oldest one, get to the newer models and end up in the 21st century. And I have a really great guy for it. Master Jakub from Hakuzan Dojo. So let's get started. So Master Jakub, can you a little bit explain to everybody how it all began with the shurikens? So first kind of uh, shuriken was stone. Uh, in, uh, for example, a late Heian period, uh, it's uh, from 10th to 12th century, ah. a low-ranking warrior uh, was uh, throwing uh, stones to opponent. Uh, and after that, uh, a special kind of stones has been choiced and polished. It uh, is uh, origin of so-called tsubute. Ah. So first time uh, stone uh, throwing was uh, first step of uh, evolution of shuriken. So, uh, second uh, weapon uh, uh, used for throwing was sword. Uh, it uh, was uh, long one, tachi or later katana, mm -hmm. and uh, a short one, uh, for example, tanto like this or wakizashi. Maybe you remember our episode uh, about uh, samurai weapons, so uh, Master Ram tried uh, uh, use a katana like shuriken and uh, was surprisingly very successful. So, uh, I suppose that uh, so-called uchimono or throwing sword was quite uh, uh, popular, but uh, here was one disad disadvantage, because if I am uh, throwing my uh, tanto or long sword, I am uh, losing it, so I shouldn't continue to fight with it. Yes. But a mm -hmm. uh, uh, lot of samurai was uh, especially using tanto like shuriken uh, until uh, 19th century. We have one uh, that we can try to throw today, right? Yes. Ah, let's make a few throws. What about this uh, small knife or what it is? Yes, it's called uh, Kogatana or Kozuka and it's a small knife in the scabbard of sword. Uh, it was uh, for a lot of purposes, uh, for example, uh, samurai made mage or uh, her, her style uh, uh -huh. in the battlefield. Uh, uh, but uh, it was uh, used uh, like shuriken as well from oldest period in uh, 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 suguda ho uh, or no spin method or hanten ho or half spin method. Mm -hmm. So master then uh, should uh, show how uh, kozuka was used like shuriken. Can we throw this? Yes, of course. Okay, let's go. Uh, 
this kind of shuriken is uh, shuriken of style Katori Shintoryu. Uh, Katori Shintoryu is Sogo Bujutsu. Uh, it means that uh, in this style uh, we are using uh, uh, swords, short swords, uh, yari, naginata, bow and, uh, and other weapons and uh, also shuriken. Katori Shintoryu is a style from uh, uh, 14th century, so it's uh, oldest uh, uh, still existing style of uh, Japanese uh, ah, fencing. Okay. And uh, uh, in Katori Shintoryu, uh, Shuriken was the highest level of sword, and uh, it, it was something like hidden weapon, not only in Katori Shintoryu, but in all of styles mm -hmm. uh, of Shuriken. Uh, so uh, it was uh, some uh, hidden weapon, so it was a big surprise for an enemy in a true fight, and uh, for this reason. Uh, uh, only a few uh, adepts of uh, Kenjutsu or Japanese fencing schools should uh, practice uh, uh, Shuriken mm. in the past. And uh, Master Jakub, I heard that uh, samurai were also using to poison the, the Shuriken. Is it a little bit true or is it myth? I suppose that it's myth. Uh, ah. uh, for example, in China there are uh, uh, some traditional infusing of poison for some uh, uh, piao or throwing knives, but mm -hmm. uh, I suppose that uh, it was dangerous for uh, for owner of shuriken as well because if I am stabbing, uh, for example, my hand uh, mm -hmm. in case of using, I should die as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I suppose that it's part of uh, ninja's uh, meat. <laughs> so uh, maybe uh, it was in the world of ninjas, I don't know, but uh, poison uh, is not uh, part of uh, samurai culture. All right, interesting. Let's throw it. Master Jakub, uh, what is this little box with uh, Japanese uh, Yo, text? It's a uh, bo box with shurikens of style uh, Meifu Shinkageryu. Ah. It's mm -hmm. a Katori Shintoryu based style of shuriken still existing. Mm -hmm. It's a new style uh, uh, developed in the uh, 20th century, but uh, it's own, I suppose, uh, one of very few styles of shuriken which is uh, surviving uh, uh, into the uh, 21st century. Mm -hmm. So this one is a typical shuriken of this style. So you think the similar shape wasn't made in past? This is more like... Uh, um... It's very, very traditional shape. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of shapes, a lot of uh, lengths. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. It was not a unification in old Japan. Mm -hmm. A lot of schools of Kenjutsu had uh, shuriken like uh, hidden weapons, I suppose. But ah, okay. uh, we have not so much information about it because it was a secret tradition. Mm -hmm. So, Master Jakub, you told me that there are many shapes of the shuriken and uh, each school had like a different one. Can you a little bit uh, explain? About yes, uh, for example, uh, th this one is uh, round one, uh, mm -hmm. marugata, this one is square one, uh, kakugata. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this uh, special uh, shape is from style of negishiryu, it's uh, something like uh, small rackets. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, of course, uh, they were very short shuriken, very long shuriken. Uh, it depends on schools uh, of uh, this art. And also, each school is using some kind of different grips. It depends on the yes, master of yes. the school, or uh, quite typical uh, grip for sugudaho or no spin is like this. Mm -hmm. uh, here is uh, also some uh, finger press. Uh, 
uh, like in no Spain, but uh, should be, for example, in the end of uh, throwing in the middle finger. Ah, right? because uh, for me this is pretty uncomfortable because I'm used to throw on the index but finger. But some right? schools uh, used ah, okay. uh, index finger as well. I was ah. surprised. So this is completely same like in no spin method. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, no spin method is so called uh, suguda ho. Mm -hmm. It's uh, from a uh, uh, lot of position. Uh, Jordan uh, Kamae, for example, uh, Waki Kamae, uh, uh, different uh, angles. Cetera. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Haso Kamae. It's the uh, same uh, uh, position like uh, in uh, World of uh, Japanese sword. Interesting. And uh, mm -hmm. it is also uh, uh, half spin. It's uh, so called Hantenho. Mm -hmm. I suppose that. Uh, should can in a uh, uh, snow spin should be uh, successful to about five meters maximum and uh, a hunt and hole or half spin should be about nine meters. Let's try. And Master Jakub, uh, what about this? That's not actually like totally for throwing, right? Yes, uh, maybe you remember our uh, episode of Hidden Ninja Weapons. It's so-called Jute. It was uh, police uh, equipment uh, or Torimono Dogu for arresting of criminals. Uh, it was possible to hit uh, s s somebody or catch uh, uh, enemy's blade into this uh, hook called uh, tachi, mo uh, tachi Mogi no Kagi, mm -hmm. but in time of arresting, uh, Jute has been used uh, like throwing, uh, arresting uh, uh, weapon as well. I suppose it should be quite interesting. Maybe let's find some stone and we can try to throw it and let's see the yes. energy. And now it's time for the famous ninja star. Proper name is Hira Shuriken, right? Master Jakub actually told me that these were made later in the period of time, right? Master yes, Jakub. Yes. Uh, this is a modern reproduction of uh, big size uh, Hira Shuriken. Yes. It's a uh, Shihoken, it's uh, four uh, points uh, mm -hmm. Shuriken. And for example, uh, this kind of Shuriken has been used in uh, Yagyu Shinkageryu style of uh, Japanese fencing uh, developed in end of uh, 16th century. So Bo Shuriken ah. or Shuriken uh, like this is much more older than uh, Hira Shuriken or uh, stars mm -hmm. shape uh, Shuriken. By the way, shuriken was not uh, killing weapons. Uh, for example, if uh, my enemy attack me surprisingly, I should f shoot the first time uh, uh, throw shuriken after to draw my sword and cut him. So uh, shuriken was a weapon only to make some injury, not to kill my enemy. But big shuriken uh, like this one uh, should be quite uh, dangerous, maybe deadly. We have few of these actually. Let's throw them.
And since the Japanese culture were so popularized in the 80s and 90s, there are so many cheap reproductions on the market, right? Master Jakubs of, yes. the, of the stars. I don't know if you have seen this one. I had it in one of my videos. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> uh, it's a toy for a uh, uh, child. But uh, it is completely un, uh, unusual for uh, true practicing. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you have big shuriken, it should be very deadly. But uh, it's impossible to use it like hidden weapon. But if I have a uh, size like this, it's uh, quite traditional size of shuriken. Uh -huh. It should be uh, very, us very useful for true life uh, because it's impossible to bring 10 shuriken in this size for self-defense, <laughs> but this size uh, should be quite, uh, quite uh, useful. Now, very famous kind of shuriken is so-called kunai. This is modern reproduction, not so good, I suppose. Uh, it was uh, ninja equipment for holes dig uh, digging, etc. Uh, but uh, uh, true uh, historical kunai was was much more bigger, about heavier, this size right. and heavier. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, in the past, uh, also exist a smaller shuriken in this shape. It is so-called kunai gata. And Master Jakub, now we are getting to the modern times. We have the throwing knives that were actually made from develop from the shuriken shape that we have seen before. And we have this. Mm -hmm. It's basically folding shuriken that you have also seen in one of my videos. But you told me that it was also like a similar shape in the Japan, right? Yes, uh, uh, in the style of Yagushin Kagaryu, it mm -hmm. was Karakuri Shuriken or this uh, uh, kind of Shuriken as well in the uh, 17th century. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I suppose it's very useful for uh, true fight and a very dangerous weapon. It's checkmate, one old friend, uh, Dax made it. Mm -hmm. and. It's a very, very good uh, contemporary kind of shuriken for a true uh, fight or true tra uh, training. It's really great. And um, here we have the model that you see most of the time on my channel is the Vengeance Throwing Knives. This is basically, I think, somewhere I would love this, right? Yes. Yeah, this can penetrate guys even armor. It's really insane. So if we compare uh, classical shuriken and no spin, uh, we should uh, try uh, penetration, uh, distance of using, etc. But uh, I should uh, tell uh, that this, this one should be winner. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely in uh, all aspects. Let's uh, make few last throws, guys.
Wow guys, I think really amazing episode and we definitely realized today that shuriken it's not same like uh, different shurikens, right Master Jakub? Yes, yes. So guys, let me know in the comment section below which shuriken actually was your favorite today. I would like to thanks to the Master Jakub from I, the Hakuzan Dojo. I would like to thanks to Master Adam to explain me no spin methods. It was very enjoyable for me and thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you Master Jakub. And guys, let us know what you like to see in future episodes of the Lords of the Blades. Because for today, that's it. So, thank you everyone for watching. Share, like, comment, subscribe and... Sarabaja! See you next time!